Let's go up and have a look at the roof, shall we? Hello. Oh, it's nice up here. So what we've been doing is trying to scrape off and clean the roof as best as possible before I do fiberglass to cover the holes. Basically trying to scrape off everything I can and then brush out all the rust and clean it. And then we'll have to do some uh, cleaning, degreaser, something to that effect. And then I'm going to do the rust converter ultra on all the rust then fiberglass matting and resin, and we should be pretty watertight up here after that. Okay, so I started fiberglassing the roof here. Just did some quickies right there. I'll probably sand down, do another coat on. And uh, a few patches in here. There's one right there. And I'm gonna do another over here. Latex gloves, your best friend when doing fiberglass. This is the matting. Just get some crappy old scissors and cut it to the size you want and then we'll put that over the hole in order to reinforce it. Alright. We got fiberglass resin, a little mixing cup. Pouring some in. Hardener. And go easy on the hardener. Everybody always puts too much in. You just need a few drops or so. That's about it. And give her a mix up and we'll get going. So basically just put down a thin layer of fiberglass over the hole, then you put down your mat and just push it down like so, kind of glues on, and then you'll put more over the top. So there's a patch, just want to... Like so. Let that dry, probably do another coat or two. That should be watertight. You will probably go through a lot of brushes because this is what happens to the brush. So just get cheap brushes. Hey, if you guys are hungry, there's guac and chips inside. Um, non bread and hummus or cheese and crackers because the meatballs are heating up and they won't be ready for about an hour. Okay, thank you. Alrighty. So occasionally what I'll do, if you have a bigger hole and you know it's going to sink in, the fiberglass matting will tend to drop into the hole sometimes, which you don't really want to happen too much. Uh, I will do just around the edges, as you can probably see here, so that the edges will harden and then hold up the middle. And then we'll go over with another piece, layer it on top, and then that should hold it up so the middle doesn't sink into the hole, hopefully. So 
So here's where I use the license plates to fix up some of the bigger holes uh, in the roof and then I did fiberglass matting over them as you can see and a couple layers of fiberglass and I'll probably do a little bit on the inside too but I think those will hold up nicely and it looks kind of cool <laughs> Hello. <laughs>